Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chemical Engineering Knowledge. In this lecture we will discuss about the sprayer tower. So sprayer tower, it is used for the gas liquid separation processes. It is also called gas liquid contactor. So uh, and the advantage of the sprayer tower is it is used for the low pressure drop. So there is a very low pressure drop in the gas uh, liquid contactor. So pressure drop here is very smart. Similarly, it is used for the corrosive loads, mean for the corrosive liquids and for corrosive gases. Similarly, it is also used for uh, suspended liquids. So those solutions which consist of some suspended uh, solid and fluids. So in this case, we in that case we will use the spray towers. So this is a spray tower. A spray tower. This is a spray tower. Uh, the liquid is coming from the top. This is the liquid droplet. This is the spray nozzle. Spray nozzle. The spray nozzle is used to produce small droplet of liquid from liquid solution. So this usually the liquid solution the spray the spray nozzle convert the liquid into a small liquid droplets to increase the uh, mass transfer rate inside the spray tower. So this is the spray nozzle. Uh, this is also a liquid. This is the spray nozzle. The liquid droplet is coming from the top and this is the gas inlet. So the gas is coming from the bottom. The gas is continuous space. This is a continuous space. A continuous space while the liquid droplet is in the dispersed space. Dispersed, dispersed space. So the liquid droplet is dispersed medium and the gas space is continuous space. The gas space is continuous space. Continuous space. This is the vapor. The vapor is used to uh, uniformly flow the uh, gas. So here the gas flow rate is usually high, very large uh, or high gas flow rate is used in the gas uh, spray tower. Similarly, the liquid, this is the, uh, here the liquid droplet accumulate in this, in this space and the liquid is finally coming out from the bottom of the spray tower. So the in spray tower the liquid is coming from the top. It is converted into small liquid droplet. The gas is coming from the top. The liquid and gas come into contact. This is liquid. This is gas. So the gas is transferred to the liquid and absorption process taking place inside the spray tower. Uh, the dirty liquid is coming from the from the bottom and the clean gas is coming out from the top. Similarly, this is demisitor. The demisitor is used to eliminate uh, the mist. So, it is used to remove some uh, li uh, liquid from the gas. So, here the clean gas is coming out from the top. And if there is some liquid particle in the gas, then it will remove and it will come back to the tower to increase the separation process. So this is the a simple spray tower. So uh, usually uh, one or two unit of spray tower can also be used in most cases. This is the one unit, this is the second unit. So usually one uh, unit of the spray tower is usually uses it. Similarly the main disadvantage here is that pumping cost pumping cost of liquid is high in spray tower. Uh, so here the remissator is used and spray model is also used in the spray tower. So this is a simple introduction to spray tower. It is mostly used in separation processes in gas absorption processes. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.